an artist like Maurizio is not so much interested to do uh, exhibition in an art gallery if you don't uh, take risk for him. He expects from you to, to be involved on the project, not just hanging paintings on the wall. And uh, it's a chance when an artist asks you to, to participate to his uh, journey, his adventure, and not just giving you uh, some material to sell. And uh, it was giving me the possibility to show him my dedication. First of all, I have to produce this suit. I have to produce the drawings realized by uh, uh, Manfrin. Manfrin was a, a famous uh, uh, cartoonist in Italy. He was doing Elastoc, if I remember well. And, um, and um, don't get very, and it looks very strange when you are young and you don't have money to have to pay another guy to make the drawings of your artist. You know, I, I have to pay the, also the production of the drawings. And, uh, but I was participate at the art story. I didn't know he will, Maurizio will, will be who he is now. But by the fact I accepted to be ridiculous for him, uh, and to, to change my life, because if art have to do something uh, for the audience, but maybe also for us art dealers, is to, to change our way to be, to be in life. And uh, his first interview to uh, uh, a young woman journalist for Art Press, Art Press is a very intellectual magazine, he starts to explain crazy things about me, and, uh, and she takes it seriously, and she's writing it. And uh, he started to create a, a legend about my private life. And uh, until very long time, I, I have to play Rotten the True Rabbit in my real life to follow the characters. And, uh, and it's, it's interesting to be a, a fictional characters and to play the game. After it was postal cards all around the um, uh, Benelux with a very strange the photo of the rabbit with sentences totally ridiculous i was receiving that from many uh place around the world uh, a beer company in england offered me to 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 make an advertisement with the suit and uh, it was wow. really a lot of story coming from that but i've shown this photo in uh, in yokohama nika fart fair and like it's happened in different country i was receiving in a in an official visit, the Prince of Japan. And I was, certainly it was in 95 or 96, I forgot which years, when I was quite young. And I received this young prince. You have all the journalists outside the booth and he come to do a tour of the booth with me. And I have to, to explain him the situation of this phallus uh, uh, suit of rabbit and I, because we were discussing together, I was making joke with him and he was quite happy for one time somebody was not speaking too seriously with him. And he was, uh, uh, he, he was happy we were talking to him uh, normally and uh, like, uh, like someone make a joke because I was placed on this situation to show him uh, my uh, outfit completely crazy uh, I was wearing for a moment. And, uh, Again, Maurizio was not the legend he is now. Like it's, uh, I, I didn't have this uh, pretext. And I remember also another funny anecdote uh, about this situation of uh, presenting this work. It was during the custom. You know, I was a professional to organize my own paper for custom uh, uh, at the, because I was carrying the works in my suitcase. Like I have to do by myself the custom. And, uh, and for sure in my strategy to to show to, to, the, to the custom area when they asked me what is all these things, you know? And uh, I started to show the pictures of me in Rabbit, you know? And after that, it was like, okay, go, you know, okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and uh, yes, it was, uh, I remember one colleague of me was pretending to come at uh, Japan for holidays. And she have in her suitcase a drill, a drill machine with all the tools. And she was pretending to be in early days. It was so crazy. But um, all this, you know, you have to imagine in the 90s, the contemporary art was not taken seriously at all. And uh, I, of course. 
I wanted to ask you about the Japanese uh, collectors because you know you were saying for now it's for a long time you are talking to them you know they they are part of your uh, um, clientele and I I would if you could give us the sort of the profile in your experience what they like how they are what is a big no that you know you don't do uh, with Japanese collectors I think it's interesting for people you know that have a gallery maybe they want to do the fair in Japan and maybe they don't know there's a lot of differences I know um from what I know, because for sure my Japanese team will be much better to answer to, to, to all your questions. But um, from the one I know, they have a very strong fidelity. You know, they, they and again, we, for some of them, uh, they don't speak so well English, but they're happy to see you. They communicate their, their um, pleasure to see you again. We, but you need to have, you know, uh, Japanese uh, people to really uh, take care of them. You cannot improvise yourself like that, you know. I don't speak about everyone. Some of them are very, very uh, um, um, travel a lot, knows very well many dealers. You cannot make generalities. Uh, it would be always uh, ridiculous to do it. But for sure, I have some Japanese collectors. I, I appreciate very much to see them, but I communicate by uh, gesture by uh, by uh, with their interpret majority of the times they have an, an interpret with them and yeah. uh, it changed a little bit the situation but they know I'm uh, um, I'm part of the landscape for very long time they uh, when you speak about my personality to come back on this certainly they feel I'm a funny guy I'm uh, I'm unfortunately I I build my career and and I was never taken so much seriously by many, many people. I'm a well, why unfortunately, like, uh, why, why unfortunately, I think this is a very positive uh, side. That's why many people admire the gallery, I think. I think right my age, right play, my age, I will prefer to start to be taken seriously, but... Play, um, but uh, it's uh, playfulness. It's such an important uh, aspect of art, I think. I wish there were more playful uh, galleries that are you know, taking down this uh, fear and uh, distance that is often associated to this uh, figure. I mean, that's my opinion, you know. No, no, no. You, you, we, we are never happy by who we are. You know, I've seen <laughs> some dealers now in uh, sneakers when they was never dressing with sneakers. And they, they, you know, certainly they play a kind of game now where, or maybe they don't realize. Me, maybe I need to, to look like an intellectual quickly. Uh, to, to, to change my uh, perception, but I'm not, I'm not. And uh, clearly I was walking too young to be uh, uh, with reference. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, but sometimes the fact to be maybe not serious or not uh, with too many uh, culture reference helped me to be more spontaneous, you know, and to- and more, and more accessible, I think. This is also so important when you have uh, collectors. I'm thinking about, also, your program is so international. It's not only Japanese artists, and I'm sure yeah. the collectors from Japan, I'm sure they are connected to the gallery because of Japanese artists you represent, but I'm sure they often ended up buying, you know, French, Italian, American. So I I want to think that this, uh, this accessibility played a big role because it's yeah. uh, great. Yeah, absolutely. I, I also have artists from, uh, um, you know, I, for example, more recently we were starting, it's not so recent, but we were starting with uh, Izumi Kato also was giving me a, another connection. And uh, we, you know, it's, uh, it's very uh, interesting to have also a long uh, experience of Japanese artists. And uh, um, it's a, uh, I, I really, you know, in, in, in any case, when you arrive in Japan, you know, you have really the feeling to arrive to civilization. You arrive to, to the airport and you feel immediately something so strong, you know, you never have anywhere else, you know, people are so polite, they are so quiet, so organized, uh, everything working well. 
for sure you need 10 person to do something you will do with two people but but in the same time it's part of the culture you have to accept it you know and uh, it's a very you you learn so much with japan you know it's uh, and you learn so much with japanese artists and it's a very interesting uh, uh, part of my life amazing i want to ask you uh, about the japanese the uh, post or branch or gallery within your global uh, operation uh, natalia who introduced you she spoke about you know the galleries in of course paris and even paris only to speak about paris would be you know because they have several operations several types of galleries in paris with the secondary market the the original gallery which has two spaces but then you have hong kong new york shanghai seoul tokyo and also uh, uh, dubai now Las Vegas and, right now and Los Angeles. Las Vegas, yeah, we are we'll get there with the you know with the store Las and everything. Yeah. And I just want if you could share, I know it's a very again a very big question, but how it works with the with the you know this all these different uh, uh spaces, the people, every team is independent, how you manage to show which artists in which city, because it's a it's a big you have you know. How you decide, and you were mentioning earlier that many of your artists, of course, dream to show in Japan. So there's that that goes in. If you could tell us, give us maybe like an example of how you, you know, uh, schedule and how you organize such a global operation uh, in terms of, you know, strategies that have to do with the market, but also strategies that have to do with the keeping your artist uh, happy, which I think it's so important. So... You know, the, the key of all this is uh, um, to have a good staff. You know, you, your, your team is the key to, to be able to, to be everywhere in the same time. And, uh, you know, personally, I'm just one uh, chef d'orchestre. You know, I'm a, I, I, I'm a conductor, but I can't be on all this place and uh, dominate the situation. They, they are leading majority of this uh, company in uh, the sense where we culturally they know the way to talk to the people they know what is good or not they have a lot of uh, um, possibilities and freedom and for sure people imagine we adapt the program to our city but from the beginning i was against that my first gallery in uh, asia was hong kong and uh, when my team there tell me, but they, they have no idea about your artists, why we don't do Chinese artists. And I said, no, it will take longer. It will take more time. It will take more energy, but we will try to, to make them love our program, our test, our, why we will, why we will do the artists already represented there. You know, uh, majority of the artists we're showing in, uh, from Japan, we don't show them in Japan. We show them uh, uh, in the other gallery. The Korean artists, we don't show them in Korea. Some of them, yes, but majority of them, we are uh, at the exportation and not uh, importation. We don't, uh, we, we, you know, Japanese gallery are very good gallery. You know, Chinese gallery are very good gallery. Why we will uh, uh, stall the artists? You know, some of them was finally available at some point and we was able to do them in uh, in Japan but uh, this is not the goal the goal is uh, to use all these gallery around the world like a hub to 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 manage them on the different uh, um, venue we have and uh, you know, the key is uh, uh, for sure your team you know and to be able to delegate them responsibility to work like a collective, it's not every day is easy. For sure, you have a, 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 you know many many problems to have so many galleries, so many artists. You multiplicate the risk to have problems. It's not a fairy tale, but I feel also it's not easy to have a gallery where you go for thirty years and it looks exactly the same uh, uh, day after day. Uh, the fact to open gallery all around the world give much more option to our artists, give much more option to our sellers, our artists in charge of artists, because we we have uh, uh, much more opportunity for our artists. 